All right, how about this one? Express the force as a Cartesian vector. Let's worry about this later. Uh, express this 75 in IJK form. Do you notice that it's spherical angles? That 45 degrees is not touching the vector. It's touching the projection, the shadow, but in this case, it's kind of the shadow from underneath. Uh, so this is spherical. What do I do for spherical? Take my force and break it into the Z and the XY, and take the XY, break it up into X and the Y. It's two. 2D problem. So problem number one is taking this 30 degree angle and breaking it into its XY and its Z. Do you see that? It's a triangle. It's a 2D triangle that has a 30 degree angle. It's a right triangle. So I can use, uh, let's see, it would be, let's see, cosine 30 would be the X component, XY component, sorry. Cosine 30 would be that component right there. So 75, so let, sorry, let me, let me try this again. Uh, F, X, Y, that component would be 75 cosine 30 because cosine is adjacent and that component is adjacent. Uh, this would be 64.95, um, but the Z component would be the other one, 75 sine 30. Uh, that would be 37.5. Uh, and I've got to give it my own negative. You see that's pointed down, whereas it's labeled up. Uh, and pay attention, where it is labeled is telling you the positive axes. Where it's labeled is telling you. And, and be careful, because sometimes this is not always X. This, it might be, you know, labeled differently. Um, this is below the floor, and above the floor is positive. I've got to give it my own negative sign. Another note that I would never put the the projection as po negative. I, I would always put it as positive. Never put the projection as negative. Um, but if the components are negative, then make it negative. All right. So I found that. Maybe I'll put a star by this to remember to come back to that. That's my Z component. But now I'm going to take this XY component and break it up into its two components. So now, do you see, we, we know that that is... 64.95 and let's break it up into the y component and the x component that's a that's a triangle on the floor it's a two-dimensional triangle on the floor all right so this would be let's see f uh, y let's start with would be 64.95 cosine 45 whereas f z would be 64.95 Sine 45. Now, 45 degrees, you can do it wrong and still get it right. Why did I choose cosine for that one? Because it's touching that one, whereas that is opposite the angle. And so remember, if it's opposite, use sine. If it's adjacent, use cosine. Uh, but with 45 degrees, you can't go wrong because both of these are going to be 45.9 and 45.9. I need to put in my own positives and negatives. Is this Y component positive? Yeah. Is this X component positive? Yeah. That They're both, this, in this quadrant, is pointed in the positive X and positive Y direction. So the first half of this problem, my answer, 45.9 in the I, 45.9 in the J, minus 37.5 in the K. I need units somewhere. So put those units, box that in. Now, secondly, let's calculate the coordinate direction angle. So now, new problem, forget that. What if I gave you that and said, what are its coordinate direction angles? Well, I, I know when I'm doing coordinate direction angles, I'm thinking F equals FU. I know that F, I know that magnitude, I can find that U. So this is 45.9 in the I, 45.9 in the J, 37.5 in the K equals the magnitude. Uh, if I didn't have it already, I could square these and take the square root, uh, but I haven't done anything that, that 75. You know, I haven't added 75 with another vector. I haven't done anything, so it's still 75. And this is cosine alpha I plus cosine beta J plus cosine gamma K. I hope that you're, you, you, that rolls off your tongue like uh, it does mine. You do this enough that that U is... The coordinate direction angle is cosine alpha apples, cosine beta j plus cosine gamma k. All right, so this I component, 45.9 in the I, oh, sorry, the I equation, 45.9 equals 75 cosine alpha. The J, 45.9 equals 75 cosine beta. And the K, 
negative 37.5 equals 75 cosine gamma. Solve for alpha, beta, gamma. Make sure you can do this for 52.3, 52.3. 120. I might have known that already. Uh, did you know that it was 120 to the x axis? Yeah. Yeah. If it is 30 degrees below the floor and, and it is 90 degrees to the floor, so it's 90 degrees to get to the floor, then you go keep on going another 30 degrees. Uh, that's that 120 degrees. But again, the math did that for me. All right. So corner direction, I mean, spherical angles, but then second half of the problem is um, calculating the coordinate direction angles.